What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over mini chat Facebook Messenger uh, from beginner to expert in one, one video here. We're gonna go over everything that you need to know within mini chat to grow your subscriber list, to message your subscriber list, what's the difference between uh, flow and a sequence, how do you use growth tools. We're gonna go over all of that. So if you guys are new to my channel, uh, I talk about Facebook ads, marketing, real estate, uh, mortgage related content. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. Uh, so we're just going to jump right in here. So this is my mini chat account here. Um, so this is uh, just a demo, it's basically a demo account that I use for all of my real estate and loan officer clients. I basically come in here and create all of my content. Um, and I can create templates from whatever I create in this account. Uh, somehow I have grown to 60 subscribers really without even trying. Um, so a couple of things here. This is your dashboard. You're going to be able to see all of your active subscribers. Um, you can scroll down here and see how many subscribes, unsubscribes, how many you've netted um, in this given time period. And you can come in here and do all of that. Um, do last seven days. And apply that and see what that looks like right so we still have four subscribes four nets unsubscribes um, so then you come over here to your audience you can see all of the people in your uh, bot right so you can see all the people who have subscribed we've got two days um, people who you can see when they subscribed right um, you can see the subscriber you can see their male or female uh, you can see all of the tags on the, the right side here. And then what you can do is go into the live chat portion and you can see all of the open chats, right? So all of the unread messages. And this is this kind of functions like your CRM if you've done this well. And you can see basically the open are the, um, the conversations you haven't read. The done are the conversations that you have read. So I've read all of the conversations. You can come in here, look at all of the um, the messages here. I've got this obviously. Um, I've got this uh, blotted out here, so you don't see all of the names, right? Uh, but you can come in here and read these, um, and then you can you can go through and message them. On the left hand side, you can see growth tools. Then growth tools are what what will allow you to uh, grow your messenger list. So if you click on new growth tool here you can see all of the options. So you've got the um, type of growth tool that it will be, and then you've got what it will look like, right? So you've got the uh, landing page here. Obviously, that would be a one-page website where you can grab their information or not. Uh, you basically will have them subscribe to your mini chat list or not. Uh, then you've got the message reference URL. That essentially allows you to create a unique URL or link that would go to a specific message or sequence uh, within the growth tool. So we're going to get into that one a sec. That's the most commonly used. Then what you can do is Facebook ads, JSON. So if you are familiar with messenger ads using Facebook, this is where you could create that. Minichat also has a tool now where you can create your Facebook ads within Minichat. I still use the JSON, uh, it just allows you for a little bit more customization customization, um, and optimization there. And then you've got Facebook comments here. Uh, essentially, if you have a Facebook business page and you have a post and you want people to comment, that will trigger a mini chat response within Messenger so that we can send them messages based on the post that they commented on, which can be a really cool way to grow your subscriber list that way. You've got the Facebook Messenger code. So essentially, this is like uh, if, you've, if you're familiar with QR codes, uh, you can take your phone and scan this code, and it would go directly into Facebook Messenger. And just like any of these, you can you can um, trigger an automated response based on that specific Messenger code. So in real estate, uh, if you had an open house and you had a specific listing of that open house you could create a messenger code for your open house, have that uh, prominently displayed on your flyer or in the kitchen, and you could have them scan that code, and you could give them all of the information on messenger, 
and then you can update them on that listing and other listings that you have similar to that one. So this is really cool uh, for the real estate side of things and really any market, right? And you've got customer customer chat, which allows you to create a plugin on your website uh, and create live chats there. And then you've got a checkbox, like if you use a, another landing page uh, software like ClickFunnels, uh, you can create this checkbox here. And then you've got different options for all of these, right? Where you want the uh, where you want all of this to go. Uh, so you can use a button if you use a, a landing page software, again, like ClickFunnels, you can use a button here, you can use a box here. Um, if you have a website, you could use all of these. So if you've got a top bar, um, you can take over the page, right? So like an opt-in, um, it would like pop up, same thing here, it would slide in, same thing here with the module. So ones that we use the most are probably the message reference URL, um, JSON ads, uh, Facebook comments, uh, QR codes, or like Facebook Messenger codes are really hard to optimize right now because people don't really understand what that is. So it takes a little bit of education uh, to grow those. So the three that we use the most message, message reference URL, Facebook JSON, so Facebook Messenger ads, and then Facebook comments. Um, I'm not going to go through one of these right now. Uh, but I do have other videos. I'll link that with a card or in the description below if you want to go and look at those. I have JSON, uh, and I believe I have the message reference URL specific to real estate. Uh, and then this is the ads feature within mini chat. So if you want to go and do, do mini chat ads and do Facebook ads using that, you can do that here. Um, they've got a cool tutorial there. And then you've got broadcasting on the left here. Broadcasting is essentially like if you've ever used an email list and you have sent an email to your whole list, that is exactly what we can do in broadcast. The difference here is you can't do anything promotional with uh, over the 24 hour mark of adding a subscriber. Uh, and that's just allowing Facebook uh, to not spam all of their users. So you can't say, hey, 50% off of the ice cream cone today, right? Um, unless you're within that 24 hour of gaining that subscriber. If your subscriber continues to interact with you in your messenger uh, and they click on some of your stuff and they're interacting, you can send messages uh, that are promotional uh, within that 24 hour period. If they haven't interacted with you for, for 24 hours or more, you can't send that promotional content. So here you would just cl click on create new broadcast come in here, you would create your content content just like you would any other, right? You'd come in here and say, hey, 50% off or whatever it would be, right? If you want to do value, that would be great too. And then you just come in here, add your settings, add who you want to. You can schedule this for later. You can start sending it now. Uh, you can add people. So if you have a condition here and they have a specific tag. So this would be very applicable to real estate where you have a listing and you just want to let them know, hey, uh, we reduce the price um, on this property on this date. Um, are you interested in this house still or something like that, right? It doesn't have to be super promotional. You, you don't have to give them um, any information. You don't have to do anything like that. You can just say, hey, price reduction on 123 Main Street and then send that broadcast. It's a great way to follow up with all of your people. You can even say, hey, we have an open house coming. It's at this time, at this date. Um, you don't even have to really go too far in depth there. And that's not super promotional. It's just saying, uh, hey, this is what we got, we have coming up kind of thing, right? Uh, and then you've got automation. This is where your main menu will be. So if you're in real estate, you have three different options here. You have people interested in buying a home, getting pre-approved, and selling a home. You've got your default reply. So anybody who, uh, I don't really want to show that, but You've got anybody who would want to, uh, so if they message your Facebook page and they say, hey, are you, um, do you have a home for sale or, or I would like to buy a home or something like that, we can send them an automated message. Same thing with welcome message, very, very similar. Keywords would be if they uh, say, hey, I would like to schedule an appointment, then we can have a specific action here, right? If they want to rent a property, uh, if they say any of these keywords, we would have a specific action here based on renting. If they want to buy, buy property, buy house, buy condo, we would have those specific action. Uh, and those would contain, right? 
then obviously if they want to start or um, unsubscribe from your bot, you would have actions based on that. And then sequences would be, like if you're familiar with email and email drip campaigns, that's where your sequences will be. So for real estate, you know, we've got uh, seller, 12 month follow-up sequences, buyers, same thing, 10 week. Um, so basically they would go from seller 15 day sequence, seller 12 week sequence, and seller 12 month sequence. So we're gonna follow up with them for 15 months. Um, this is mostly um, value, right? We're not gonna spam them with promotional messages. We're just asking them a bunch of questions. Uh, and then you can use rules here. So like if you wanted uh, specific people um, that enter a specific point, right? So subscriptions with tags with this, right? So if you go through and do like a pre-approval quiz for real estate, you could add a subscription where they're tagged with a specific homes list uh, and you have a credit score range and you don't want to include people with low credit scores, you can add these custom rules that allows them to unsubscribe. So you basically put your leads in buckets, right? So that's what custom uh, rules would be. It's kind of a new feature. Um, so I, if you're brand new to ManyChat, I would not get into this. And then you've got your flows. Your flows are all of your messages, right? A flow is essentially uh, one message that is a string of uh, questions or communication with your, with your subscribers. And then obviously you've got your settings here. Um, one thing that you do want to do is subscribe to your messenger bot because what, what that allows you to do is receive notifications, right? If we come in here and let's go and just create a flow here, just call this example. One cool thing about ManyChat is it allows you to um, get notified and when you get notified, especially if you're getting a lot of subscribers on a daily basis, you wanna be able to know when you should go and manually follow up with leads, right? So we're just gonna create some dummy stuff here um, just for the example. Um, so I'm just gonna say, hey, um, would you like more info? I'm just gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna say no. And I'm not gonna make this super polished for you, but then what I would do is perform an action, add a tag, and let's just say this is a hot lead. What I can do here is they want more info, so I can come in here and create an action and notify myself or my admins, right? And say, this person, this lead, full name, uh, wants more info on 123 Main Street. You need to follow up with, you know, and then you could put their first name in here, right? ASAP. Right, and what that would do is that's gonna send you both a message and an email. If you're like me, I only check my email uh, maybe two times a day, uh, somewhere in the middle of the day and then at the end of the day. So I like to use Messenger uh, for notification type stuff. And that allows me to um, basically follow up with this lead, right? If, they, if they're doing something where I need to come in and manually talk to them, then I need to be notified of that, right? So that's a cool feature within ManyChat that you'll want to have done, all right? If you guys want more info on ManyChat, real estate, mortgage, marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If you guys have any questions about ManyChat or if you guys have any ideas for new videos, make sure that you comment on this video. I'm happy to help. Uh, my goal of this channel is to help you grow leads, grow your business, um, and scale with online advertising. So if you want to subscribe, subscribe so that you never miss another video. Like this video if you like it, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.